quick because I just finished this cutie and I have to pop him in the mail to get him out to a little boy. So I wanted to show you really quick. This is one of my one skein wonders. This is a uh, Tyrannos, no, Triceratops, because he's got the top part. And I actually made this whole thing with one of these Karen cake, cotton cake skeins. So the story behind this is I was asked to do a blanket for a friend of mine who lives in the UK for her baby and they were doing dinosaurs. So I made this blanket and I put a little dinosaur on the corner of a little applique. Well, apparently this kid loves this blanket. He now just turned two and this has become his favorite little blanket. So he's here visiting the US since I wanted to pop something in the mail. So I made this cute little dinosaur that I think will complement. I think I did a brontosaurus for the blanket, but I think he's gonna understand that this is a dinosaur. I thought he was really cute. Now the pattern that I found, and of course I'll include it in the link like I always do, the pattern used a sock weight yarn, so the, the dinosaur itself was much smaller. I didn't have a sock weight yarn, plus I wanted to use the same yarn and the same color scheme that I used for the blanket. So this guy's a little bit bigger, um, but I think that's okay. I think he's super cute, and it took me probably about, a, it was about a week, two to three two hours a day, like nighttime watching TV. Very, very simple pattern. It's all single crochet. There's a few little special stitches, popcorn stitches um, up here and down here on the feet are little popcorn stitches. Uh, everything else is pretty much magic circle, knit in the crochet in the round, starting with um, a circle of like six or nine. I think the body was a nine, everything else was a six. And then this was just another circling around. Really, really simple pattern. Even the little horns are um, crochet in the round. One thing, a lot of people, if you've never done amigurumi, one of the tricks that I found is that, and I didn't actually do it on this one, but if you're doing really, really small amigurumi, which is like the animals and things like that, the normal single crochet stitch can sometimes leave little holes where some of the stuffing can come through or it just doesn't look quite as neat. So when you're doing a single crochet, which is what they typically are, and you go into the stitch and you bring the yarn through, you do a yarn over single crochet where you go in and the yarn, you, you actually bring the yarn like over so that instead of having this little hole, it's more of a, um, of a line down. It's just a nice way to do amigurumi. I think it just makes a, a neater, cleaner looking uh, end result. I didn't do it on this one mostly because I'm so used to doing a normal single crochet that uh, I started, I would forget. Like, oh, I'm doing it in the front. Oh, I need to do it in the back. So I just decided to do the whole thing in the back and it turned out fine and did a little stuffing. So what I used was one of these Karen cakes and I actually didn't use all of it. Um, I did use all of the green because obviously it's mostly green, but I still have a lot left of the browns, the cream, and um, like the little places for the spots. So this is, um, this is 250 grams, 530 yards. So one of these, and I don't have any more of this sage color left. It was one of those like clearance Michaels or Joann's clearance bin kind of yarns. So if you ever come across these and you see these in a bin, I always buy them on clearance. Normally they're like, I don't know, maybe $10, $15. So when you get on clearance, you might be able to get it for like five or $7, which is a great deal. And they do make a really nice, um, they can make blankets. I, I use this to make the blanket, which I really liked because it is cotton and acrylic, 60% cotton, 40% acrylic. So it's a nice, I think it's more of a modern yarn. Uh, sometimes the ones that are kind of fuzzy are really good for babies, but this is something that they can kind of grow into. It washes up really nice um, because there's no fluff to it and there is some cotton. It has that kind of a modern cotton, obviously, um, just a little bit of a different look. And so I like the way that this knits up uh, really easily and the strands are nice and tight so nothing splits it's just a good easy yarn I have lots of these cakes um, that I do I do a lot of blankets in these cakes they have them in all different colors now the color that I use here is obviously it's retired 
but they always have other colors around and dinosaurs are really a big thing right now. And the pattern that I used also made them in a really pretty, kind of like a rose mauve color. So you can do a boy, boy dinosaur and a girl dinosaur. Um, this guy, I think his name is either going to be Taco or Timothy, but of course the, you know, owner can name him whatever he wants. Um, but I thought he was really, I thought he was really cute. So I'll include the pattern and I'll include the link for these yarns. Again, you're probably not going to find this color or this color, but you might find something else that you really like. I, I really just wanted to showcase this particular yarn. Uh, it's a real good mainstream, good budget yarn, and it works really well for, uh, some people use them for scarves. I haven't. I like to use something a little bit softer and a little bit lighter. This feels pretty durable and sturdy. It's a cotton, so it's going to be a little bit more on the heavier side. And um, I like the variegation. It's just fun. Even see if you can see with this guy, um, the variegation and the different colors, but I didn't care. A, I just wanted to get through the skein. But I think it kind of gives them a little bit of, um, of texture and definition. And actually, as it turns out, the lines turned out pretty good, at least here on the arm. And this guy, you know, it's fine. He's a dinosaur. You can just add some little dots and little spots and things if you wanted to. But again, this is my one skein wonder, Taco the Triceratops. And I used one skein and I still had left over of the Karen um, cotton cakes. So again, they come in a variety of colors. This little guy, I've got to pop out and take him to the mailbox really quick and get him in the mail and off to his new little owner. He's going to be uh, going transatlantic here in the next week. So I just wanted to pop on and show you this guy, my little one skein wonder. Thanks so much for watching as always. Like and subscribe. Uh, pass me on to your friends. Thank you so much for doing that. And thank you so much for your comments. We're getting some really good momentum and I'm super excited. Um, I see what you guys are liking. So I'll keep doing more of that. And I'll be back soon.